new this morning, choose to refuse. This month is Plastic Free July, which is a global movement to help the planet. So your challenge to ditch single use plastics for one month or even eliminate plastic use altogether. So what are some eco-friendly choices that you can make right now? Joining us is Ryan Lutberger. He is the co-founder and CEO hi, of Clean Cult, a company providing cleaning products with eco-friendly ingredients as well as packaging. So Ryan, thank you for joining us this morning. You know, some people think, oh my gosh, it's a daunting task, but it's really some simple swaps people can make. Give us some examples that you can do to make, that you, they're very easy to reduce plastic use in people's homes. Yeah, well, first off, thanks so much for having me. And Marisol, happy birthday. Um, <laughs> some re really easy solutions. And you've all heard this before, right? One is the reusable water bottle. Is we go through a ton of plastic bottles. And you've even seen the refilling stations down the airport. Two is a great tote bag. And you've heard this again in most grocery stores. You can go out to your local grocery store and just replace it, right? About 10 cents. Another one is household cleaning, right? Is we actually generate a lot of plastic waste in the house. So instead of using a basically plastic sponge, you can switch to a coconut scrubber. And then in a bunch of different solutions that you can do really all over. Um, and it's a lot easier than, than you expect. Hold up, what's a coconut scrubber? I do not know. Yeah, so most people don't know that most of the different cleaners we use in our house are all based on plastic, oh, right? Those okay. pods that you use, yeah. they're plastic, and you can switch to tablets. That sponge that you use is all plastic. It's all made from petroleum. You can actually replace that with a plant-based scrubber that works, in my opinion, even better, and it's, it's not bad for the earth and also bad for your home. So, wait. Talk to us about clean cold thing. Is that where you, is that like the idea of those tablets for what say laundry detergent, dishwasher detergent? Exactly. Yes, yeah. so we're trying to make it easy for people to make this switch. So you have simple switches in your life, but let's face it, people want to clean well, right? They care about efficacy. They care about making sure their home is easy. So what we've done is created a whole new way to clean. So instead of using plastic bottles, you actually refill it with milk cartons rather than those plastic refills. Mm. Instead of plastic bottles, you actually use refillable glass bottles. Mm. Alongside ingredients, you can actually understand and pronounce that work really, really well and bottles that really are beautiful in your home, right? Because I think the issue with everyone is no one wants to compromise and we're trying to make it easy for everyone alongside really other good and very effective plastic swaps. Mm. I mean, this is a really good idea, and, and I try to do it somewhat because uh, when I have a container, I'll buy something in bulk and then just try to refill the container. But if you buy it in bulk, it still comes in a big old plastic container. So this is a yeah. way to kind of reduce that, right? Exactly, especially for us in New York City. You don't want to be lugging around things when you're, when you're going to the grocery store um, or unless you have a great little tote here, right, that is refillable. It's a little bit easier to carry bulk. But this is one of many solutions. July is a really important time for us to have that awareness. Um, and it really is little things that make a really big difference. So you can switch your disposable mop for a reusable mop. You can switch those dish towels with reusable dish towels. So it sounds hard, but I really would encourage everyone to make the switch. Um, and it's a great opportunity to do that today. Yeah, I just got a, a mop that has like a cloth bottom that you tear off and yeah, just throw disposable. it into the washing machine. Yep. Oh, in the washing machine. Yeah, oh, in the washing great. machine, and then you put it back on, right? Um, yep. So do, for for people, I don't know if you know the stats, but for people at home who may not, who may, oh well, I'm not really contributing that much to the problem. Yeah. I talk about the plastic issue and why that we're trying to make this big change. Yeah, so, and I think it's such a, the time is now, right? Is there's a lot of issues facing us um, really today, but. Uh, plastic is an easy problem that we can tackle by ourselves, right, as people. So uh, an average house usually uses about 44 pounds of plastic per year just in the household cleaning industry. Mm -hmm. And that's laundry wow. detergent, hand soap, dish soap, all-purpose cleaner. And again, the solutions are out there, right? You can do it yourself and actually have mix. You can use clean coal. You can use bulk, which also reduces a lot of plastic. So, you know, it adds up, right? Over a 50, 60, 75 plus year life, that's a lot of plastic, yeah. right? The same you can use for coffee cups is actually contributes about another 100 pounds of plastic per year. Water bottles, another 55 to 60 pounds of plastic per year. So, you know, if you just make these little switches, you can reduce about 500 to 600 yeah. pounds of plastic that you yourself uses. That is really huge. On, on every basis. I want to bring yeah. in the whole team because we're all interested in this. But I have to ask you very quickly, though, because yeah. of the pandemic, has it kind of increased uh, our ability to, I guess, you know, use this plastic in ways that maybe we could cut back on once we come out of the pandemic because everyone's trying to be very sanitized, very clean, make sure no one else, you know, touches yeah. things. 
Yeah, so that was a, it was a probably a, a really tough part of the pandemic is grocery stores, people were actually improving and decreasing their plastic use by about 3% year over year for the last 30 years, right? So that's a lot of plastic. And in the pandemic, all of that progress got washed away. So plastic use actually went up about two and a half times. And it makes sense, right? People needed sanitary products. Mm -hmm. But now I think it's really time for all of us to say, you know, look, we had to do that. Now let's transition back to really being mindful about the products we use. Oh, yeah. I want to bring Ben yeah. in because he and his wife are huge supporters of trying to be eco-friendly. Yeah, we got we got the laundry strips instead of doing the, the detergent, it. and the, those are awesome. Yep. And they the clothes smell great because I was skeptical at first, but I have a question because yep. our recycling uh, people you just recently said like you can't because we use the clear plastic bags for recycling. They're like yep. you're not allowed to use the bags anymore. You got to dump the actual recycling into the garbage pail, and they take yep. that. But the garbage bags are still very apparent is there an alternative for garbage bags is there a way to kind of because paper is just gonna it's gonna get wet it's gonna get nasty yeah so for for clean cold in particular we actually have a ship back program so you can actually use the box that you get it you ship it back to us as a company and we repurpose and recycle it for you mm -hmm. and we wash away all the carbons with carbon offsets generally though it's not possible yet the yeah. there's really not enough biodegradable alternatives yeah. But the progress is coming, right? There are more and more like repurpose, like recompost. So I, I think soon, um, but as of today, there's there's not success just yet. Mm. One day, yeah. Mm -hmm. One, day. One, day. One, day. One, day. One day, one day soon. The progress is coming. Yeah. yeah. But we all have to do our little part, right, to make a difference. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Ryan, exactly. thank you so yeah, much for thanks, coming on. Ryan. Thanks all for having me. You yeah, have a great day, Mike. Enjoy your birthday. Thank you so much, Ryan. <laughs> you yeah. can head over to cleancult.com and learn more about the Plastic Free July Challenge. You could also go to plasticfreejuly.org.